loose attitude in the studio with recording, as well as uh, the, the um, engineer that we that owns the studio that we use, a great friend of mine, Bryce Goggin, and uh, he he also works like that too. You know, there's never a moment of like, okay, we're rolling, or you know, um, you know, you never like in the studio. Sometimes you can come up with great ideas um, just on the spot, and then. You're like, oh wait, maybe I should stop and press record. Go over there and before, you know, Bryce is the kind of guy that if you start coming up with an idea on a keyboard, somebody's there with a the mic to record to capture that moment. And before you know it, like you're, you're writing a new song, and you know it's as easy as that almost. You know, and that's the kind of like um, I think that's the hardest thing as a musician is to is to capture that that moment of that vibe of like, oh, this is cool, I hope someone's recording, oh man, this is really nice, I, if I stop, I don't know if I'm going to remember it exactly, I just like, you know, let's record this quick. Um, and even with song, uh, chord progressions, and, and even words, lyrics, not that I, I don't write any lyrics, but that's sort of same sort of attitude of like, that, that sort of flow, and, um, and Bryce is the kind of guy I feel like that can capture that, and, and Reed and Andrew, uh, um, the two guys on the uh, Positions on the record, um, you know, are also in that sort of headspace of like, all right, what, what is that you're doing? Like, I'll just follow you. And um, that, we went to the studio with maybe five or six songs written, and and um, you know, we we sort of made up, I think, of maybe four or five tunes, just like one day. Interesting. Um, they basically removed the music from the movie, and and we perform new music live over the over the movie in the park in a big projected screen, and um, and that's that. And I've been writing new music for it. I've been like coming up with different sound effects for it. And you know, Reed and Andrew and I will we'll have two rehearsals, and then that's it. We'll do it. Um, but I'm gonna keep the element. You know, I'm gonna have a lot of uh, stuff. Uh, written for the film, like I said, and then the, some songs that I've already written, we'll, I'm going to stick in there, and um, and uh, I'm also going to keep that element of improv, you know, um, just sort of watching it and just going with the movements and the, the running down the stairs or the, you know, going to, to look for uh, Madeline, who's buried alive, you know, it's like... It's pretty cool. It's a, there's so many options. It's actually a little overwhelming. I've spent a lot of time already on it, just sort of thinking about what to do and trying different things, experimenting with different ways to do it. Um, but it's really exciting. I'm glad that we're doing it. It's sort of a spooky B movie, you know. Vincent Price. It's like the the uh, the imagery is sort of archaic, I guess. <laughs> Every night is a funny story with Tom. Tom always winds up coming on the stage towards the end of the night, grabbing the mic and, you know, just saying um, how awesome it is that this, these musicians are here playing and how thankful he is and, like, you know, he'll rant about all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Cause a little bit of some, head, some heads to turn, like, whoa. Uh, but uh, he is a hell of a chef and he, you know, Honestly, like, being a, a touring musician, you know, that is my job, you know. Um, you know, you get all sorts of different venues, all sorts of different people that run venues, all sorts of different um, personalities. And uh, one of the best things about showing up at a venue is, is the, that, that sort of warm hospitality. And, you know, do you, you guys want something to drink? You guys hungry? You want some beer? Sorry, oh, you're late? It's okay, we'll make it, we'll make it work. Or, you know... Um, 
and Tom is, just has that that attitude, and he and he genuinely he's a brilliant guy, he's smart, and he uh, he genuinely just loves music, and um, that's why I do it. I generally just I just love music, and Dave and Andy, the, the musicians that are playing with me tonight, have that same sort of attitude as well. But you know, Tom is is one of the big reasons why we come here, as well as the audience. I mean, there's a it's a small, appreciative audience, and it's so close to Brooklyn, where I, where I live, and, you know, you can't always play in Manhattan or Brooklyn, because, you know, promoters don't like that sort of thing. So it's nice to come out of the city, um, play out here where there's, you know, no one's really bugging you to, about anything, parking your car, you know, where you're going to go to the hotel, and, you know, where we're going to eat, how, you know, it's really easy and casual, so... Um, and of course they have a piano even though I brought my own tonight but all the other nights I've come here there's a nice Yamaha piano to play so